Hi. Because uh, there was a little bit of confusion during the last tutorial um, about the cranial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve, the facial nerve, um, I made this mini tutorial, this mini video, in order to uh, try to clarify how we can use the, the investigation of the facial nerve to differentiate between upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron lesion. As you can read, um, upper motor neuron lesion would be probably a stroke, we can suppose a stroke, intracranial hematoma. Lower motor neuron lesion instead uh, is affecting the nerve, so when it's in the, in the peripheral nervous system, or if we have a stroke uh, within the brainstem, but uh, for what we are concerned, just uh, the nerve within the peripheral nervous system. And um, commonly, for example, the Bell's palsy. Um, what uh, the um, upper motor? Uh, so, wh what are the symptoms that we will uh, see? The upper motor neuron lesion will manifest uh, as a paralysis of the inferior quadrant uh, quarter of the face, contralateral to the lesion, because there is, uh, of course, the decustation, the crossing over of the uh, motor fibers from the uh, cortex. And the lower, instead, the lower motor neuron lesion would be a paralysis of the lateral half of the face, ipsilateral to the lesion. And this is uh, basically what everyone knows. Uh, we will, I'll try to explain in, uh, in a few minutes uh, why. Um, let's go over. Uh, okay, so in this picture we see the face, <laughs> and uh, we can divide the face uh, um, in four quadrants, okay, so in uh, uh, upper half and or lower half, and uh, uh, um, two lateral half, of course. What you see um, at the top is the cerebral cortex, and then in the middle bit the four uh, spots, uh, yellow spots, are the um, nuclei of the facial nerve, one on the left, one on the right, uh, for the, uh, that are basically uh, constituted by the uh, cell bodies of the lower motor neurons. So we have facial nuclei in the pons, and then what we will see uh, appearing in one second will be the facial nerves that are actually carrying the information, the, the axons from the facial nuclei to the face, to the muscles of the face. Okay, so we have the upper motor neuron that is coming from the cerebral cortex and then is going down with the bilateral innervation of the two upper um, nuclei and the contralateral innervation only of the uh, lower nucleus. So one side of the cerebral cortex innervates bilaterally the upper part of the face and contralaterally only the um, inferior half. So three quarter of the face. Of course we have a, 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 a symmetry of uh, this innervation. So on the other half we have the upper motor neuron this coming down is innervating the three uh, nuclei as before, and we can complete the picture seeing uh, the, uh, the fourth uh, quadrant being innervated. So this is a normal uh, physiological, uh, neurophysiological picture. Let's now see what happens if we have a lesion of the upper uh, motor neuron. So if we have a lesion of the upper motor neuron, we will have a, a dysfunction of everything that was uh, carried out, that was uh, innervated uh, by this. So we will have a regression, or anyway, a, a dysfunction of those fibers, of the upper motor neuron fiber, and we will have a lack of innervation only of the contralateral um, inferior quarter of the face. Why? Because the upper one is innervated by the other side. In fact, as we said, the upper uh, two uh, nuclei are innervated bilaterally. So in this case, the symptom will be a um, motor symptoms on the inferior contralateral half of the face. Inferior contralateral quadrant of the face. Going back uh, to the physiology, now we'll see uh, what happens if we have a lower motor neuron lesion. In this case, so we are um, supposing that there is a lesion on the facial nerve, as can be the Bell's palsy. If we have a lesion on the facial nerve, we will have a lack of innervation of an entire half of the face. 
The motor symptoms will be then distributed in the whole upper and inferior half of the face in two quarters. With this uh, thinking about the functional neuroanatomy of the cranial nerve 7, we can actually then differentiate between upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion when um, these uh, pathological processes are uh, involving uh, the uh, face, the motor uh, innervation to the face. Thanks.